In this video, we are going to talk about moon through the sign of Cancer and through the nakshatra of Punarvasu, Ashlesha and Pusha. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You'll be getting Vedic astrological videos just like this one. And you will learn Vedic astrology step by step. Moon into the sign of Cancer. Before we talk about this, what is Moon? We have already made a separate video on what is Moon. I will put a link into the description section. But I will cover that significations of Moon quickly. In the next section, we will talk about the cancer sign and into the next section, we will talk about the moon through nakshatra of Punarvasu, Pusha and Ashlesha. If you want to jump to any of these section, I'll put a timestamp into the description section or we'll put them into the first comment. Moon into the sign of cancer. What is moon? Moon is the planet which is the celestial queen. Sun is the king of the celestial cabinet. Moon is the queen of the celestial cabinet. Moon is the social face of the king. So, king has to be on the throne, have to give the orders. But the queen has motherly love for everybody. The queen has the motherly love for all the subject. This is the key signification of the moon. Moon signifies your emotions, your feelings, your relative emotions with certain things. You like certain things, you don't like certain things. This relativity of your thoughts and emotions is the key, is the moon. You will, you will, you will feel attached to a few things, you will feel repelled of certain things. This is the relativity of the moon. Moon loves to have an emotion. Moon has an subjectivity. Moon helps in subjective connection with the things. Moon is also the signification of the desires, feelings, opinions, privacy, motherly love, your home, your nourishment. All these things can be seen with moon. Now, what is the sign of cancer? The sign of cancer is ruled by moon. So it has all the significations of moon. Cancer is all about feelings, emotions and motherly love and nourishment. About your privacy. All the moon things can be seen in a profound manner in the sign of cancer. The next signification of the cancer sign is it is one of the chara signs. What is the significance of the Chara sign? Chara sign brings in the movement. Just like we saw it into the Aries sign, Aries sign is capable of bringing the new idea into this life. The fourth house or the fourth Rashi, which is Cancer, is capable of emotional foundation and emotional attachment to the thought initiated into the Aries. It takes that thought to the next level. It brings in the movement of emotions. Did I say emotion? Because cancer is all about emotions. You are going to hear this word a lot during this video. But that's true. So just be with me. Next. Cancer sign is one of the water element sign. Water element signs are emotional signs. Now these signs are more about feeling. And these signs are deep emotions. These are not the shallow emotions. These are the deep emotions. And now this is the first sign of the water element. But this is the root sign for the water element. The next water element sign is Scorpio. The next water element sign is Pisces. But the Cancer sign is the root of water element. Deep sense of self can be seen with the cancer sign. Now, let's talk about the nakshatras. The sign of cancer has three nakshatras. First, it has the Punarvasu nakshatra. A fourth pada of Punarvasu nakshatra can be seen into the sign of cancer. 
the fourth pada of the punar vasu nakshatra is ruled by cancer which is ruled by moon so here moon gets exalted and becomes vargottama not exalted it goes into its own sign of cancer and becomes vargottama moon gets exalted into the sign of taurus so yes in the punar vasu nakshatra fourth pada moon gets into the vargottama sign next is pushya nakshatra pushya nakshatra dasha ruler is saturn and it has four padas into the sign of cancer the first pada of the punar vasu nakshatra is leo which is ruled by sun which is self and more than that it is more about enjoying the life so moon does great job into the first pada as well more so we'll talk about it for other planets as well but today we are talking about the moon moon is coming into the sign of leo of sun which is the which holds the fifth house significations okay next is the second pada of the pushya nakshatra is varga namancha here moon is into the sign of mercury which is all about the analytical mind moon into the sign of virgo gives analytical mind to the caring souls of the cancer next is third pada of the pushya nakshatra goes into the libra namancha here here moon is in a balance airy sign of the libra which is all about social abilities here here moon is connecting with the other people the seventh house things the social thing moon is a private energy now it is connecting with the other people and it it might find it challenging to connect with others next is fourth pada of pushya nakshatra which goes into the scorpio namancha now here what hap- what is happening is you have moon into the sign of cancer in d1 chart and in d9 chart it is going into the scorpio sign which is debilitation so here moon feels uncomfortable and might have challenges with respect to either the cancerian realms or based upon the lordship of the moon as well or the agenda of the moon but it will feel the challenge due to its debilitation into the d9 chart next is ashlesha nakshatra ashlesha nakshatra we have four padas of ashlesha nakshatra into the sign of cancer the first pada of the ashlesha nakshatra is sagittarius which is ruled by jupiter which is a friend of moon moon does great job into the sign of sagittarius in d9 the second pada is into the capricorn namancha here moon is going into the sign of saturn which is all about hard work practicality and is all about work now the emotional moon is going into the practical capricorn sign now maybe in the latter part of the, their life they become the most practical person they start their life with the cancer and in the latter part of the life they become more like an capricorn energy next the third pada of the pushya nakshatra is ruled by aquarius again moon is into the intelligent air element social sign the social part of this is the challenging part for moon because though moon has a nurturing and loving nature it is not like mercury which is all about connecting you know mercury can go and connect with an unknown person and not, not only that he can bring in business with that uh, mercury is a next level communicator but moon is more about the feeling you may find these person who is you know a little bit upset minded because of their intelligence because of their intelligence like they they may not be always present in there their mind is going somewhere else but they are extremely intelligent next is fourth pada of the 
Ashlesha nakshatra. Fourth pada of Ashlesha nakshatra is into the Pisces Namansha ruled by Jupiter, which is a great friend of Moon. Moon does great job with the Jupiter Namansha. Here, Moon is feeling the universal love of Pisces. Here, Moon is all about connecting and is about the spiritual aspect of the life. Now, it's, it's into the same element. In D1 chart, it's into the sign of Cancer, into the Ashlesha Nakshatra and is into the fourth Namansha, which is Cancer and Pisces. Both are water element signs and are the great friends. So here, Moon is operating at its highest level. Okay. Now, what happens when we have Moon into the sign of Cancer? We have already discussed this, but let's quickly summarize that the planet of emotion comes into the sign of nurturing. So here the person becomes loving and is compassionate towards everybody. The planet of fluctuation goes into the sign of emotions. These people have fluctuating moods. At times they are happy and are, and are on high and sometimes they become, you know, go into that uh, low phase like they they start feeling low these are the fluctuations just like moon these are the fluctuations but they change quickly within no time they can become happy fluctuation is another key signification of the moon next the planet of desires come into the sign of privacy now these people have desire for their own time these people like to have their own time they like to be into themselves more than you know connecting with others going out or socializing these people like to internalize their own energies and connect with their self which is the fourth house okay next the planet signifying your mother goes into the sign of nourishment here the, per the person with the moon in the cancer can experience the best nurturing love from their mother, right? But all this, depending upon the padas and rashis and aspects, conjunction, association, everything go is going to change, okay? So yes, this was my analysis about moon into the sign of cancer. Don't limit yourself to just these three, four communicate, these three, four significations just imagine yourself with signification of moon and cancer or moon or any other sign or mars or with any other sign and try to connect the significations so you will come up with many more interpretations for all the planets through signs if you want to go deep into vedic astrology these two videos on your screen will help you to go dive deep into Vedic astrology. Go and watch them, sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations. See you in the next videos. Love and peace.